Hi everyone, thank you so much for coming today. Every time we do D2C Live, I start the morning. Many of you know, because I tell you all that I'm in the middle of having a panic attack or worrying about it. And every time I start the morning, I think, I hope this one's gonna be good. Are people gonna show up? What's gonna happen? And then it's just incredible that each time you guys show up. And I wanna say thank you so much for putting your faith and trust in us in terms of this event and our, our mission, which is to help, of all, help all of you guys with the businesses you're operating, which we all know are not the easiest of businesses to run. So over the last year, we've really got clear about D2C Live and what we're trying to do here. And essentially, our mission and purpose sits around inspiration, education and connection of the D2C and e-commerce community, largely in Britain, although D2C, uh, D2C Live as a brand is now growing itself globally. And the way we do that is we love to showcase success stories. We've got so many brilliant brand founders coming up to share their stories for you. We say to them all, you can't just share the good bits. You've got to tell everyone that it wasn't all easy. Um, we love to bring in all the latest insights in e-commerce, which we do through our tech partnerships. Again, we're incredibly lucky that D2C Live attracts technology and um, e-commerce solution providers from all around the world, which means we really get to bring you the best in technology. And finally, it's really important that we connect people. I'm so proud. Who's been to a D2C Live event before? Just so I can see. Who made a new friend at a D2C Live event? You see, this is the sort of simple stuff that makes me really happy. I love it that people are making such great friends and building support networks through this community, as well as finding people they can partner with, whether that's for investment, joint ventures, or other ways in which they can build their business. So for those of you who don't know, I'll just run you briefly through the story of D2C Live. So it all started, that's me, a famous photo of me, very drunk, dancing in a, dancing in a hotel room in Ibiza. But the important thing about the photo is not me, it's those post-it notes on that window there. And that was the start of D2C Live, me and my partner just thinking, we do know quite a lot of people who don't seem to know each other, maybe we could just have some of them together in a room. Anyway, that turned into what D2C Live is today. We really felt that across the UK, a lot of brands were isolated, and at the time, a lot of technology partners, a lot of individuals working for technology brands were isolated too. Many large American tech companies had sent a solo person to the UK. I don't know if anyone remembers that. So you'll have a big, some of the tech partners are nodding their heads. So you had a big, huge company in America sending one person to sort the UK out. And these people were also, <laughs> these people were also isolated. So the first DC Live conference was in November 2021. And it really was great. Was anyone here at the very first conference? Yeah, yeah, it was good, wasn't it? It was really good. And that was the start of everything in terms of us seeing that through building a community, an e-commerce community, we would be able to really provide um, a home for people who own brands, people working at brands, and the technology solution providers who are doing such good work to help, help brands grow. So, you know, it went on. We've, we now have over 4,000 brands on our email list. We do two times a year conferences. We've had so many great speakers. And each time I think, oh, are we ever going to be able to get anyone better than this to talk on the DC Live stage? And each time we do, because as the brand grows and as its reputation grows, we're able to get speakers from better and better brands all of the time. Um, so what, what, ha what happens in D2C Live? Essentially, our calendar of events runs around two conferences. This is our spring conference. There's also one in the autumn. Our monthly Game Changers workshop. Just put your hand up if you've been to Game Changers. I know some of you have. Yeah, so Game Changers is a great training workshop for brands of all sizes. Our social and community events, particularly Royal Ascot in the summer. Who's been to Royal Ascot? Who wants to go to Royal Ascot? <laughs> <laughs> And finally, our media, which comprises our newsletter and increasingly TV shows and podcasts too, as we aim to build this brand and its impact. One of the highlights came for us last November when we won best e-commerce event at the Flame & Co Awards, which we were really, honestly, we were blown away to even be nominated for that event. DTC Live is a new event. There's many e-commerce events that take place at the Excel Centre and stuff, and they're all very big. And we could not believe that we, first of all, had been nominated and secondly, that we won it. So if you voted for us, because I did email everybody like 500 <laughs> times, if you voted for us, then thank you. So at a glance, we've got four and a half thousand community members. We have got so many people saying fantastic things about DC Live, which really means the world to us. And we have now a series of, series of events in the media to help the DTC Live brand have a greater and more positive impact on, 
on the brands and in individuals in our community. So one of uh, a very famous saying is your network is your net worth. Now, I'm not sure how this can be aligned mathematically, but I definitely think and know that it's through knowing other great people that you're able to improve yourself and your business. So who's in our community? So 85% of our audience are e-com founders or senior manager, large, largely based in the UK. And most of the brands who are in the DC Live community have revenue between one and 20 million, with smaller proportion being sub one million in revenue. And then obviously we have a lot of bigger brands, but on general, that's the size. So have you introduced yourself to the person sitting next to you? Do you know the person sitting next to you? I would really advise that you do make sure you talk to as many people as you can in the room because there are going to be incredible founders and speakers and investors and technology partners here in the room. To give you an example of some of the brands who are in our community, you can see many of these brands are household names, fast moving consumer products, many of which we have in our homes. Some are speaking today like current body, Andrew's here and will be coming up and sharing his story a bit later. In terms of investors and brands that we work with, again, we have some of these people in the room and some of them will be speaking today. And all of these guys are not only looking for great brands and e-commerce technology to invest into, but they're also looking to spot and nurture brands that are low, uh, younger in their journey and help them grow to a point where they could become of interest to funds like these. Okay, so we do, we are going to do a little interactive survey now, and this is the part where I never know exactly how the technology works, but it does seem to work. So we always want to know what are the challenges that you guys are facing in terms of your business and your brands. So if you scan that QR code, And hopefully, the answers will start appearing. Is it working? Yeah. Okay. If you start typing. Okay, I can see there's four of you typing. Oh, what a surprise. Cost of acquisition. Fraud? Who's that? Who's saying that? Scaling customer service. Well, we're going to be talking about that today. Growth, locus, uh, attribution. We have a panel coming off on attribution. Such a pain point. Um, knowledge, cost, recruitment, building a team, distribution strategy, social content, conversion rates. Overwhelm. Who said overwhelm? No one ever was like, not me. It wasn't me. <laughs> overwhelm is so common for e-commerce teams. We see this the whole time. So these are the sorts of things that you guys are saying and brands say to us all the time. Okay, I'm just moving on to our next question. Sorry, I, I'm, if keep typing and we'll get the data afterwards. In terms of what are your concerns about your e-commerce operations, so your marketing and e-commerce teams, what do you worry about when it comes to your teams? Focus, keeping up to date, skill set, cost. Cost of teams is huge. We've done some radical work even within the D2C Live business to change the cost of the team. Experience, lack of experience, managing complexity, retention of staff, the pace of change, that's a really significant challenge for e-commerce brands. Relationship with finance. What's good is all the things you're saying we actually are going to be covering today. So that's good. It helps me think we've got the... Uh, We've got the agenda right. OK, so I now need to just move on to the next slide. So I just want to say before we bring our first guests up, a huge thank you to the D2C Live team. There's obviously Shivali, our managing director, who all of you know, give her a big wave. <laughs> Then we have George here, who's joined us to support on partnerships. We've had such a lot of interest in DC Live, so we've brought in George. George is actually my best friend from when I was four. So if you want to know any secrets, ask her. She'll be able to tell you. Cassie, our, I don't have that many exciting secrets, by the way, guys, which I was saying, just ask her. Cassie, our creative uh, director. And also our Edit Squad team, who are not here today, but many of you have heard about the Edit Squad. This is one of the ways in which we've radically changed the cost in our business. The Edit Squad team are working for a number of brands, British brands now, who are in the, um, who are in the Edit Squad. So you can see Gina, Elsie, Saki and Tosca, and some of you may know them. There's three more editors, but these guys are full-time editors with us. 
And finally, thank you to all of our amazing sponsors, all the e-com technology partners and um, solution providers who help us bring, without them, we couldn't bring the DC Live community to, we couldn't bring this event to life. So they will be here, many of, uh, they're all here today and they will be up on stage sharing their solutions as well. Okay, so the problems that we hear about from brands all the times are e-commerce is competitive, you've got less to spend, the in-house teams are overwhelmed, the platforms are constantly changing, your agencies aren't delivering, your creative isn't cutting through, and you're in data and tactical overwhelm. Just give me a hand if those, any of those problems relate to... Yeah. So the question is, how do you maximise revenue, which I presume most of you is what most of you brand side is what you're trying to do, while saving time and money? And really, in all of the talkers we bring up today and all of our solutions, that is our credentials. We want to know how can brands, how can this, how can this talk or this um, solution help brands when it comes to these three goals?